what's going on guys in this video we are going to see what if we have a exact differential equation pattern but it's not exact how to solve this one now let's go ahead and see whether it is exact first to figure this one out what we do is we take the m of xy right we take the m of xy and n of xy and we find the derivative of m of xy respect to y and we find the derivative of n of x y respect to x and see whether both, both of them give the same answer and if it gives the same results it's exact if it's not this is not exact now let's go ahead and find the derivative if we find the derivative of this one respect to y we have to treat x as a constant so here we are going to have 3x y square and for n respect to x we are going to treat y as a constant so this is going to be 2 x y square right now you can see these two are not equal so this is not exact now in this kind of situation what we do is we find an integrating factor so to find the integrating factor we have to use this formula mu is equal to e power n of x minus m of y over m of x y right n of x is whatever the derivative we found out for n of x and if you plug this one in this equation that's going to give us 2xy square minus m of y is 3xy square and m of y m of xy is the from the original equation that is xy cube now let's simplify this one this is going to be e power actually we have to integrate this one right integrate with uh, respect to whatever the value we are getting like let's put d and we are not sure let's see so here we are going to have this one right so let's uh, avoid d for now integration we have, we have to integrate this one now let's simplify so this is going to be negative x y square over x y cube and here we can see this xx cancel we are going to be we are going to have e power negative integration 1 over y so we are definitely going to integrate this one respect to y right dy and uh, you can see that integration of 1 over y is going to be ln y so e power negative ln y and if we move this negative to this front that's going to be y power minus 1 so we are going to have e ln y power minus 1 so the final answer is going to be 1 over y we should we shouldn't worry about this uh, absolute value because it's it's not matter now after we found out this integrating factor what we have to do is we have to multiply this uh, given equation by integrating factor in the both terms like m of xy and n of xy so we multiply 1 over y for both and write the new equation and in the new equation we are going to have if we multiply this is going to become x y square dx and the second equation is going to become x square y plus 1 right and then dy now again we have to check whether we are getting exact differential equation that's our purpose that's why we found out this one and multiply right now this is our m of xy this is our n of x y and uh, we find the derivative of this one respect to y and we find the derivative of this one just respect to x and hope we will get the same answer now let's go ahead and find the derivative when we take the derivative with respect to y we have to keep x as a constant so this is going to be two x y right here and derivative of this one respect to x we treat uh, y as a constant so this is going to be 2xy and this one derivative of this one is going to be 0 now these two are equal therefore this is an exact differential equation now after we found out this is exact now what we have to do is we have to find the derivative of m m of uh, xy right integrate we have to find integrate m of xy respect to x right respect to x after we integrate we only taking care of x values 
So what we have to do is we have to add a function that is in terms of y. Now let's go ahead and integrate this one first. First uh, we have this x y square right here and dx if we integrate this one that's going to give us x square divided by 2 y square and uh, x square divided by 2 y square since we are only taking care of x value we have to put a function that is related to y let's call this one h of y right now after we integrate this one respect to x now we have to find the derivative of this m of x y actually the derivative of the founded value respect to y right now if we find the derivative of this one respect to y we treat x as a constant so this is going to give us 2 and this 2 like you can see that 2 2 cancels because derivative of y is going to be 2y and here we have 2 2 2 cancels we are going to have x square y and uh, plus h prime y right so this is what we are going to have after we find the found out the derivative now what we have to do is we have to equate this one to n of x y so here we have to use the new n of x y right new n of x y is x square y plus 1 x square so let's write this one first n of x y equate this one to n of x y now x square y plus h prime y is equal to n of x y is x, x square y plus 1 and from you can see from this one you can see that um, seems like I made a mistake right here so when I multiply this one by 1 over y I should have kept a y right here because this one also multiply by 1 over y right so this is x square y and this is plus 1 over y so here this one is 1 over y right now you can you can see that these two are similar answers each other now we are going to have h prime y is equal to 1 over y after that we have to integrate this one respect to because our final answer is going to be this but we can we have to equate this one to c that's the main purpose like the general solution is f of x y this is our f of x y right so f of x y we have to equate that one to c now here we didn't know what is h y values that's why we are trying to figure out right so after we figure out h y value we have to plug it back in this equation and equate this one to a constant that's going to be the general solution of this differential equation now that's why we found out like we found out the derivative of this one and we got the h prime y and equate to n of x y so we can cancel this x square y now h prime y is this one now if we integrate this one respect to y both side now again we get h y and that's going to be equal to long absolute value y plus constant right but here we shouldn't worry about the constant because at the end we are going to equate everything to constant so that will combine together so finally we can write therefore c is equal to this function x f of x y that is x square over 2 y square plus instead of h of y we plug this ln of y and that's going to be the general solution for this differential equation and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time